Everybody right. The second requirement for accessing levels of glory is the fear of the Lord. The Hebrew word is Yirat Adonai. The fear of the Lord. Another word is the spirit of reverence. It's not enough to believe in God. The Bible says the secret of the Lord are with them or is with them that fear him and he will show them certain things they will look for it he will bring it to their comprehension the secret of the lord are with them that fear him listen do you know that among in isaiah 11 we have what we call the seven spirits of god right or the seven manifestations of the holy spirit and we have the spirit of the lord the spirit of dominion right the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of what counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and the last is the fear of the lord that means there is a walking of the holy ghost in you that can birth the fear of god hallelujah everybody say the fear of the lord not fear as in terror or trembling or running away from god but respect honor value worth we've experienced the spirit of dominion pastor people have done lots of things we've experienced wisdom and all of that but the fear of the lord this is what is missing in a very great dimension in the body of christ people no longer fear god in fact some never had the fear of god they had faith they believed in God the fear of God is what will make a man turn from iniquity iniquity is not necessarily seen as in transgression iniquity is a state of the heart so even if you have not acted it out the heart he said if I cherish iniquity Psalm 66 verse 18 in my heart the Lord would not have heard me iniquity iniquity a willful perpetual state of rebellion it may still be enshrined in your heart because opportunity has not been given for it to manifest but it doesn't mean it's not there everybody say the fear of the lord you must have an experience with god that will birth the fear of the lord that's why you hear of pastors sleeping around all kinds of people in churches sleeping around doing all kinds of crazy things a pastor coming to meet a member collecting his atm going to go and withdraw his money you know all kinds of stupid things that happen in the body of christ young and old fathers and sons alike is because people lack yirat adonai the fear of god it's not about struggling to say i will sleep with this lady i'm claiming it i won't sleep i will this is nonsense there is a revelation that comes upon you that keeps you in check pride and arrogance that you see in the body all kinds of people this arrogance whether for results or no result whatever it is is as a result of the absence of the fear of god there is an experience that the holy spirit can bring even if they call you bishop joshua selman or pope joshua selman or prophet whatever kind of garbage that they carry to deceive a lot of people with let me tell you it will have no effect are you getting my point it is the fear of god the bible says when the fear of god is at work in you you start being wise it's in the bible the fear of the lord is the beginning that means any man that thinks he's wise and it did not come as a result of the fear of god is foolish it's not yet wise the fear of god will make you to make quality decisions how much of the fear of god do you have is the fear of god that will make a man of god you know <laughs> ah god has many children i don't know how god puts up with us i don't know how god puts up with the heterogeneous kinds of men of god around the body of christ hallelujah there are all kinds of people who do so many things because of a lack of the fear of god many wrong things many things that should not be thought of as believers the fear of god 
is what will keep you you are in a relationship you know this guy is not born again you know that he's going to spoil your life and you know you are not the holy spirit meaning you don't have the ability in yourself to change the person is the fear of god that will make you pack your load and go you must have an experience with god that births the fear of god this is why god can never commit certain secrets to certain people because they do not have the fear of god hallelujah praise the lord is the fear of god that will make you as a christian not to go and say i'm looking for a job and somebody will say you know what to do all kinds of bribery all kinds of corruption that happen in the body of christ people do on un unspeakable things the fear of god everybody say the fear of god is the fear of god that makes you to respect authorities around you you know we have lots of people in the body of christ now i know that there are many men of god who have just taught their alpha and omega and all of that but let me tell you the truth when you rise against authority whether you are right or wrong god will deal with you first before looking into the matter it's in the bible aaron and miriam right the fear of god westernization has brought away the sacredness of christianity you see this thing people call holiness the reason why it became religion is because they took the fear of god out of it and they started doing a lot of rituals right there is no true holiness without the fear of god is the fear of god that births holiness do you have the fear of god in your life you want to see the glory of god you must have the fear of god the fear of god makes you straight who you are in the secret is who you are outside there are many of us our lives are not predictable we are not straight nobody can you are not reliable you are not dependable and it's because you do not have the fear of god the pastor cannot assign tasks because he doesn't even know what you can do and say your tendencies are enormous the fear of god prunes out tendencies in you and it keeps you straight hallelujah the fear of god that's what will make god give you a heavy anointing and a heavy unction and you will know that it will not be mismanaged hallelujah the fear of god is what will make him show you something open your eyes give you the eyes of an eagle to see certain things god will give you authority give you influence all of these are products of the fear of God and this latter house will be a house that truly fears God Yirat Adonai hallelujah God emphasized the subject of the fear of him to the Jews he said it again and again that there were grave consequences for taking God for granted and some of these revelations now I'm not against revelations that try to teach us our oneness with Christ but it must be balanced because it is the perverted version of this revelation that has made a lot of people believe we are equal with God so I can push him and he can push me back hallelujah lots of people give God conditions do all kinds of things when you have the fear of God you will revive him you will know that although he has made me a partaker of his divine nature I choose to submit to his governing influence is the fear of God that opens up the kingly dimension of God in your life hallelujah so every time God commits membership like this to a ministry the fear of God is what will keep the man to know that I must I must pay whatever price to make sure they receive the truth no pranks no gimmicks it is the fear of God that will stop a man from going to go and get charm right because he's looking for power or looking for all kinds of things it was the lack of the fear of God that made Hophni and Phinehas remember in scriptures they were supposed to just dip the fork take whatever comes out that's their portion but at a time they said look we have stayed so long familiarity also corrupts the authentic revelation of the fear of god familiarity you are so familiar with him is he falling down is he rising up is it rema is it whatever many people get so familiar with god 
every time I finish my ministrations, when I go back home, I get down on my knees and I said, Lord, it's been a few years serving you, but I will never be familiar with your presence. Hallelujah. And I tell him, it's a privilege. I'm aware you can do without me. Before I was born, great things have happened in the body of Christ. I have read them. I will be stupid to believe that without me, you cannot do much. You can. Hallelujah. Everybody say, Lord, put your fear in my life. Yes. Put your fear in my life. It's the fear of God that will make people not come and stand on stage and give all kinds of lying testimonies. Garbages, things that didn't happen. There are ministries that promote stories that are not real, didn't happen. I always tell our media department, make sure that when you are taking testimonies or posting anything as much as possible, let it be verified. Don't come and just make noise. And a lot of people call it marketing. They call it advertisement. They learned it from ministers, ministers, um, ministers, what do they call it now? Ministers advice, pastors conferences where somebody just comes up ships himself down with lack of discernment from us or from wherever and comes to now stand and intimidate everybody with phone and grammar and all kinds of things and now they keep deceiving people who are already growing in the fear of god and they tell them the reason why you are not expanding is because you are not creating structures and we begin to run ministry as if we are running a business enterprise the bible says ensure that the house is built according to pattern is the fear of God that will keep you to build a house according to pattern no matter how slow it is when a generation where people are saluting how fast they build houses I built a church in two days I built a church in this and that is irrelevant did you build it according to pattern because when the shaking comes everything that God see every time you build according to pattern the image of God is on that building so when God comes and doesn't find himself that's why he asks Cain you are naked I'm not seeing a reflection of me in you. Where did it go to? Something suddenly happened. The fear of God. The secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. You want to access secrets in the spirit, have the fear of God. You must have the fear of God. The fear of the Lord is to depart from evil, to depart from iniquity, the book of Proverbs tells us. You must fear God with your life. You must have that spirit of reverence. That sacredness around your life. There are many people in church. And, and, and please, I've been criticized a lot for saying this. People have been saying that it's not reasonable. All kinds of secular junks. All kinds of pornographic. You check the phones of people. Pastor. Some of these people are pastors. Go and see the kinds of things in their houses. And people say no problem it's just grace once you are born again you are born again just forget about all of that it doesn't matter it matters it matters when it comes to the lordship of christ there is a doing that backs it why do you call me lord and will not do will not do your life must be proof some of us don't have control over our spirit the bible says a man who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls everything just rides in and out of your life you must create standards and it's the fear of god that will bring it hallelujah many of us yesterday now was valentine only god knows what well a conference was also some of us were here but only god knows what would have happened you see believers do lots of things and you are wondering come on did you forget the message you had what happened a lady goes to a guy's house she's going to pass the night she knows he will sleep with her she's aware she's not mad they didn't put drug in and and they are aware the fear of god is not there and the brother sunday is church saturday night is there don't say it does not matter this is why we don't see authentic power that's why people cannot access deep spiritual things right now we've preached messages that say everybody it happens to everybody all these american messages who have brought it happens to everybody you must know the psychological position of the person at the point the lady was in the room then what is the purpose of the holy spirit it says i pray for you that you'll be strengthened in your inner man what is the purpose of all these tongues if it does not translate into a quality of life that is not possible for the natural man do you believe what i'm sharing 
the fear of god will make you hate what god hates and love what he loves even when even without supervision many of us must be supervised to walk in the way of the spirit and anytime there is no supervision there are lots of nasty things we can do friends just come and they say please can we go somewhere and you don't want to go they say you serve are we not all christians we are all king's glory members what is wrong with saying no there is grace that empowers men to say no the bible says the grace of god has appeared unto all men teaching us to say no yes cannot just be the answer every time everybody say i receive the fear of god this revelation is birthing the fear of god in you so many men of god stand on the pulpit teach on holiness do lots of things make all kinds of religious noise but their lives the things that they do they travel for ministrations and do all kinds of perversion all kinds of sinful things you need to sit down here men of god talking about money and you are wondering are these people born again they sit down and say stupid and foolish things how much is they raise in the church how much is going to be my court how, okay let's negotiate these are men of god anointed and everybody just comes on stage let's shout hallelujah god told me this and that this is why their prophecies do not come to pass but when you stay in his presence there is that truthfulness in your heart and some of us are already emulating these nasty things this conference is bringing a change in your life there is a circumcision happening this morning a cutting away of something hallelujah the fear of god you must have an experience that will birth the fear of god in your life the fear of god will make you walk in light and in the presence of god the fear of god will create constraints in your life constraints in your life constraints in your life that's why the church has very little impact on society because there is no difference the only difference is our praying in tongues and the falling under the anointing that we do it has even become a, a subject of mockery they act nigerian films with it they do lots of things with it they do all kinds of things to mock the man of god and many demons come around our churches you know you know when i speak i don't speak just for king's glory are you getting my point i'm just speaking apostolically but many demons that's why a man of god can be in church all kinds of demonic things are happening and you are praying you're worshiping people are crying but these demons are wondering what is going on this is not the kind of threat we used to receive how come they have become so comfortable in the body of christ light cannot confront darkness again because you can only judge disobedience when your obedience is complete jesus said satan came to me searching for anything that belongs to him not finding it you only conquer death when life is at work in you hallelujah but that's the true spirit of holiness birthed by the fear of god somebody comes and is gossiping about somebody to you what is supposed to be your response hold the person's hand and say let's pray for the person say you lead us in the prayer you that brought the gossip lead us in that prayer hallelujah listen you must be determined that your life will be straight let's not keep chorusing the glory of the latter house these are the principles of the glory i'm teaching you the protocol of the glory this is how to access the authentic glory of god the fear of the lord it's one of my prayers when i pray i say lord birth your fear in me i don't know my tendencies outside of you i don't trust myself outside you i don't even know what i can become so help me Number three, 